Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. We have our NetView camera, which I've really enjoyed using, and they actually sent us some different perches to check out, so I wanted to introduce you to them. And we're gonna try to capture some cool spring birds now that spring is kind of coming. And we have this called the Pro Perch that uh, we can check out. So it has some stickers in here. It says welcome to and then you can put like your name. Uh, so and so's backyard. Then it looks like this is a little uh, hummingbird attachment you can put on. This is like a suet ball. And then there's some other little dishes in here. It looks like a fruit fork. And then the bigger perch as well. So you can kind of see all that in there. So we'll probably throw this on, take off our other perch and put this bigger perch on. But in addition to the pro perch, they also sent the hummingbird attachment. So we're a little early here in Wisconsin for hummingbirds. Um, so we're probably not gonna put this on, but we can take it out and take a look at it. There it is. Hummingbirds love red. So it's great that it's red. and It has the little uh, spots that look like flowers on there. So that's where they would feed from. So here it is, it's pretty large, so you would take this out. Oh, there's more to it. This actually opens up. So it has these little red perches to fit in like this. So you'd fill this with your sugar water solution, put this on here, and then you should be able to see hummingbirds at your feeder too. Come spring, this would be really cool to test out. Let's put the pro perch on and uh, use that when we look for some of these spring birds. You can hear chickadees have been making their springtime call. There's been some blackbirds back. And uh, really excited to just hear some new calls and songs from the spring birds as they move up. Look at that. We got so much more room for birds. So you can put this on. as like a hummingbird attachment. I'm probably not just because I know we're not gonna have any right now. So it looks like this is actually for the stickers. You can put like a sticker on here and then put it in here. We'll probably leave that off for now. I might put some of these dishes in though. And then we'll put, maybe we'll try the suet ball. Throw a fruit fork on here. Just really spice it up. So I don't actually have any like ball suet, so I just broke a piece off and put it on there. So hopefully, you know, maybe something will pick at the suet and then let's put some seed in the trays. And then maybe we'll throw some fruit on. I don't know if anything's gonna eat it right now because we don't really have a lot of those fruit eating birds, but we can give it a shot. I guess I could put some grapes on there. Maybe a robin will come and eat one. So the robins in our yard love grapes. So I don't know if any of them would actually come to the feeder to eat any, but we can put some on just to see. That'd be cool if they did. Throw this one in here. All right, we have our, our literal bird buffet here. So hopefully we can capture some spring birds and I'm excited to see what images we capture with the NetView. With the camera capturing birds in the yard, I decided to go to a walking trail and see what kinds of birds I could find out in the field. While the NetView is up capturing kind of those spring moments in the yard, I'm gonna take a walk on a bike trail and just see, you know, what other kind of birds are out this spring. There's already been uh, cardinals calling, So that's notable when all, everything starts calling, breeding season is starting, and uh, white-throated sparrows have been back, killdeer are around. So it's really exciting. Hopefully we'll find some other early spring birds. I made my way down the trail and did spot a couple species often associated with spring. Just had some robins and red-winged blackbirds. And people often associate robins with spring, but some actually stay year-round in places like Wisconsin. And so the red-winged blackbirds can be a really good sign that spring is here. Um, this year we weirdly had some that seemed to stay into most of the winter, but uh, two really cool birds associate with spring. Further down, I spotted some eastern chipmunks that must have recently come out of hibernation, as well as a couple more spring bird species. Just had two more solid spring bird sightings, a killdeer flying around and calling, 
and then also a song sparrow calling. Uh, so this is close to about as far as I'm going to go on this trail. There's also a red-tailed hawk perched up here. Uh, so get some shots of him and then head back and we'll check out the net view and see if we got some spring birds on there too. Okay, let's see what we captured with the camera. There was a trio of house finches that came in. That was really cool to see. And then um, squirrels, of course. I didn't, didn't squirrel proof at all, so it's kind of expected that we're going to have the squirrels. One of the coolest things was we actually had a bird that is a sign of spring to a lot of people, the American robin, even though some of them stay year-round. Um, but I was waiting to see if we would get one because of those grapes. And so we actually did capture some clips of one. There was one that did get a grape I saw. Oh, here's a chickadee. How cute. I do like having the fruit fork and that some of that other stuff. I did replace one of the seed trays with some water to see if uh, any birds would come get a drink. Oh, here's the robin. This one might be the one where it gets a grape. So there it's trying and it got scared off. It's so cool to see them at the bird feeder because I'm just not... I, like, I haven't really put out grapes at the feeder before. Might be this one. Oh, no, that's a squirrel. Goober. I bet it's this one. Yes, there it is. So it comes in and steals the grape. That's really cool. And then uh, we actually had a raccoon visit. They kind of have known where the bird feeders are. But there was some goofy goofy stuff going on with the raccoon. We have American tree sparrow, which are going to start moving out soon. A lot of squirrel. One of the other spring visitors. Oh, there's some cardinal. Let's check that cardinal out. That's neat. So though cardinals aren't necessarily like spring, a spring visitor per se, they're calling right now, which definitely reminds me of, of spring. But the other main one that we got that was a sign of spring as red-winged blackbirds were hanging out at the feeder too, which kind of fits in on the walk. We saw the blackbirds and uh, the robins, and at the feeder we also had the blackbird and the robins. Overall, I enjoyed using the NetView feeder with the Pro Perch to capture some early spring birds, and I'm looking forward to trying out the Hummingbird attachment later this year. It's always fun to see the first wave of migrants, and to feel the anticipation of warmer weather and other new bird species moving into the area. Which spring birds have you seen so far? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.